Hello from the Asheville Art Museum. Welcome to our Museum from Home series, where we offer museum experiences for you to enjoy from afar. For today's Maker Monday, we'll be dyeing our own masks. This artwork from our museum collection is the inspiration for our project. Take a moment and look. What do you see? Does this artwork look like a painting, a sculpture, or something else? What do you notice about the color in this artwork? How do you think the artist made it? This artwork is called Wall Circle One and was created by Sam Gilliam. This artist paints on loose canvas and then hangs the canvas on the wall or ceiling. His works are sometimes called drape paintings. For our project, we're going to mix colored dyes on our mask like Sam Gilliam mixes paint on his canvases. There are dye your own mask kits available at our museum store. You can pick one up in person or order online through the museum website. If you prefer, you can gather these materials and supplies on your own. The museum's dye your own mask kit includes one white cotton face mask, two squeeze bottles of dye, printed instructions, and one felt eye mask. In addition to the materials in the dye your own mask kit, you will also need a container of warm water, a plastic bag, something to protect your work area like a paper or plastic table covering, and you may also want to wear plastic or latex gloves if you don't want to get dye on your hands. Wet the cotton mask with warm water. Let it soak for a few minutes, then wring out any excess water. Start with one color of dye. Carefully squeeze small drops of dye onto different areas of the mask. Then add the second color. In the areas where the two colors overlap, a new color emerges. Yellow and blue make green, yellow and red make orange, and red and blue make purple. To help the dyes blend together, fold and press or smush parts of the mask together. When you're finished dyeing your mask, cover it in plastic, like a plastic grocery bag, to keep it damp while the dye sets. Let the dye set for 6 to 24 hours for the brightest colors. Rinse your mask well in cold water until the water runs clear. This can take several minutes, especially if there's a lot of dye in the mask. Dry the mask in the dryer before wearing. The dye can bleed onto other clothes, so wash it with dark colors only. Wear your mask to display your work of art and to protect the people around you. Thank you from the Asheville Art Museum. Stay connected with us on social media or our website, ashevilleart.org.